Hello, welcome to Zoom House. Come on in. We are finally done with our almost year-long beach house project. Here we are. Going to give you the full tour. Uh, as I'm giving you the tour, you may hear munchkins running around upstairs and around, so just don't mind them. I don't. This has been such a labor of love. Uh, we thought we would finish it in like six months and it's been a year. It always works out that way, see. So I will tell you about what it used to look like for those of you who haven't seen the original tour or who have and don't really remember it. And then I'll tell you about everything we did to change it. So you are in what we call the great room. Actually, technically David's holding you and you're in the foyer. Um, and actually it's a really pretty light. We should show you sort of this cool nautical. <laughs> Grass. We've got a lot of grass going on in here. We've got a simple little peg rail that just goes right on into the paneling. Originally, there were there was a huge set of stairs here. I don't know if you guys remember that. massive sort of stairs coming up, a huge landing here. What is now a ceiling above you and me uh, was not a ceiling. So we added a loft upstairs. Uh, you'll see that later. And we now created a dining area here. So all of my chairs have not yet arrived. Some of them arrived damaged, so we have more chairs coming. Uh, but so you'll see things like that. It's not 100% done. Light here. Raffia light, which I love. Um, really long dining table, wishbone chairs. And then come on over to, don't break stuff. This is the great room. I have to check out the views. They're kind of the best part of the room. raw terracotta and um, you'll see that throughout the house. It's one of my favorite elements. I hung this really kitschy little sea captain painting that I had. I don't even know where we found this. We've had it forever. I've never really been at home until now. So he's got a spot in here. His colors are perfect. Um, you're going to see lots of sort of sandy tones, kind of peachy pinks. Um, I pulled the palette right from the sand. The sand here in Duck to me has a little bit more peachy pink than the sand in Kerala where our house is. And I was kind of playing with the sand and looking at it one day and there's some whiter pieces but then there are these really kind of pinky peach um, little grains of sand that are, are in there. So I used that color and just pulled it throughout the entire house. So this is my, it's not my, actually it's not my first pink house. This is my second pink house. Um, it's a very pink house. One of the um, I feel like one of the uh, subs was coming in through the house, or was it the inspector? The inspector for the house came and he was like, Pepto Pismol! Oh. So I hope you guys like it better than he did. The couch is awesome to show you. Um, this is one of our newest sofas from my collection by Taylor King. It's amazing. Um, it is upholstered, so you cannot wash this portion of it, but the um, cushions and like all the pillows can be thrown in the washing machine, which is awesome. Same deal with these chairs. Um, Super, super comfy. I'm all about throwing things in the washing machine when they get dirty because they always do. Um, really beautiful. I think this is vintage bordering on the antique rug. Layered over a jute rug. Um, this coffee table is designed by my friend Leanne Ford for Crate and Barrel. Was so excited to use it here. Um, these chairs that you guys have been Paying attention to pictures long enough that I posted. I've been in a couple projects. We use them from our TV show Best House on the Block. Um, they've been in my studio for a year or two, and now they're gonna live here. Uh, they're perfect because they're sort of that rope wrapped uh, vintage folding chair. And it's got pompous grass. This is possibly my favorite moment in the house. 
this cheese lounge. Um, it's from our shop. I'm obsessed. Um, it's got that peachy pink leather. It's got a little stump table here. I just imagine whoever eventually owns this house just getting to like sit there, watch a storm roll in, read a book, just chill, have a glass of wine. But I don't know. This is the place I pictured myself really enjoying if I were the owner of the house. What's important too about this space is the curb. You know, we have all these straight, clean lines. And so its house is shaped almost like a boat in the front. Um, and so you have all these straight, clean lines. And I knew that when you walked in, your eyes really just draw to the view. So I wanted something sculptural and curvy that sort of juxtaposed all the straight, clean lines here. And it really silhouettes so beautifully when you walk in. If I don't insist on myself. <laughs> All right, so from this angle, there has been a huge change. I can't even, I mean, it was just crazy. So there was this huge set of stairs where you see the dining table. And this did not exist. This whole loft is new. We added a lot of square footage in this house with the loft and then also took out other stairs out of the bathroom. Um, there used to be sort of like mezzanines kind of to the side here. But this was all open two story. Um, of course, you had to walk around the stairs. So now we added this loft, which created this little kind of low, cozy dining space, super long table. Um, and that space is really useful upstairs. Can't wait to show you. So we took a combination of paint and water and had to whitewash the ceiling. The ceiling was a different wood and super orangey, so it wasn't working with the cedar that we had on the walls. So we had to whitewash the ceiling. Um, which really made it all flow better. We have these really cool little nautical sconces kind of going on in brass. Exterior sconces that we took inside. And if you come outside, it's not really great weather, so we don't need to go out right now, but so we've got a little dining table here, which is getting stuff blown all over it right now. Um, and then here outside the primary suite, they have their own little deck as well that all connects. And a little uh, set of Adirondacks out there. All right, so we did a lot of rearranging in the house. I will show you. We made this really cool little room, little family room den um, out of what used to be the kitchen. So this wall did not exist before. Sometimes we add walls. Um, we added this wall and created this really cool, cozy, this massive sectional um, little family room in here. Plank to the walls, and there's a TV over here. Little gallery wall of new and vintage art over here. And one of the things we had fun with in this house was these like pulley lights. One of our tricks um, that we do a lot, kind of more in our own project space, is not as perfect as what we do for clients. So they're ready made, so you can't get the exact size you need. So we buy the ones that closest match to the window and then Dave cuts them down for me and we just kind of saw down the sides to make them fit better so it's a good tip I think it's like $30 out of shades whereas if you know you're buying custom it's like 300 something dollars but if I had if clients were hiring me to do that and then labor it would end up being 300 something dollars so if you do it yourself it's a good deal we gained an additional like family room on this level and we added in another family room upstairs so we got a lot of sort of ancillary spaces that are really good for big groups and places to stash your kids in. Um, and close the door so we can hear them. Oh, Dave is pointing me to the powder room. This is a really fun room. This is a great room. Come on in. Got this really cool galvanized bucket here for the faucet. Um, okay, and I just show you guys this. I love this. This is a vintage. A little vintage etching. Um, laundry room isn't really done yet, but I'll just you know, glance in there. The tile is really cute. Um, water dryer not installed yet, but you can see. Do you want to come to the kitchen?
pencil drawer dividers. We've got a little spice rack here. I did a little here. Um, I really just wanted this to be just a super easy to live in place for big parties and groups. Um, so we have trash recycling here, one here. We also have trash and recycling here. So we've got two of those. We've got double dishwashers, the hardware is not on yet. So people have been asking um, if the house is sold furnished. Yes, it's sold furnished and we're selling it with everything in it. So I found books, really cool vintage and new books about the ocean, um, came up with really you know pretty little glasses and things that are just perfect for the house. So it's, it's done up. I did not buy all their plates and silverware though, so they're gonna have to buy that. Um, but just is a lot of really cool stuff in here that I thought was perfect for, for June house. Um, I'll show you over here, we've got this really simple runner for Rugs USA. We had our contractor make a shelf out of the paneling from the walls and um, we have this cool little horse thing and then this light turns on and kind of lights it up at night. It's really pretty. What else is special about this kitchen? Oh, the view. You have to show them the view. Check this out. What I love about this house, just these huge picture frame windows, super 70s, but it's all about the view and so pretty. We were blessed three days. Oh, lots of woven you'll see throughout the entire house. Lots of woven textures. My lampshades were supposed to be woven, but they did not come in time, so I have plain white lampshades. Yeah, but it really is just such a good view. Like, that's the thing about this house and this sort of funny boat shape. You have, like, panoramic views everywhere. It's incredible. So you, it's like, there's nowhere, there's, there's not even a single bedroom you can't see the ocean from, even the front bedrooms, because I guess just the way the house is angled just right. Um, so it's really cool. Coming in here, this is the main level primary bedroom. We did a lot of rearranging in here. Is this what the closet originally was or not? I can't even quite remember. The closet's here now, I can't remember where it used to be. This wall used to like zigzag. Now it goes flat. We did wallpaper in here. I love it. Um, didn't really even realize that the wallpaper like looks just like the sea oats that are growing all of the juice outside. Um, which is really cool. It was just a nicer day. So I could open the windows and show you the curtains blowing in the breeze. Um, but it's not. Uh, but it does do that on pretty days. And gosh, this is one of my favorite beds. This is the salt water bed for my collection with Woodbridge Furniture in our lime wash finish. It's walls, funny story. So this is the original paneling that was here. We were planning on keeping it wood. The painters accidentally painted it white one day and we started sanding it down and it was perfect when it got sanded down because all the white went into the crevices. It was really, really pretty. This is actually one of those really orangey woods that's a little too orange. So this is the coolest thing that could have happened while we basically lime washed it unintentionally. I love it. Um, I did a lot of fun little like kitschy kind of word art things throughout the house. I don't normally do a lot of that, but at the beach I wanted to have fun. I wanted to make people laugh um, and just kind of you know, put something unexpected in this sort of more feminine, kind of more serious feeling room. I mean, Javier pray for surf tapestry, which everyone does when you're down here. Um, okay, and then I think I used to enter the bathroom tiny bathroom. So there was a storage room in the front of the house that we stole to now become the primary bathroom. So super tiny, just simple. So we'll just redo this thing. There is a storage room on the other side of here. So I was thinking of making this like a big cool bathroom closet situation. So this is that storage space. This is the space 
I'll probably just have to turn this into an owner's closet to be real, but mm -hmm. it's possible. Oh, because this is here, so you can't bust through for the. No, you can because it's look, it stops short because that's the okay. that's the shower. So we could shower. make a really nice bathroom for that bedroom mm -hmm. if we wanted. I've just seen dollars rack up, so it might just stay small. Um, so come on in. We did these planked walls in milk paint. shower curtain is not up yet so you'll see there's still stuff to be done um, did this really pretty soaking tub um, you guys have been this really cool kind of mid-century inspired vanity there's David in here we'll get out of the way you can see the travertine tile on the walls in a brick pattern and then we have this really cool did you guys see this floor kind of a travertine kind of random mosaic it's really simple wood peg rails you'll see them throughout the house and the tiniest little stool with soap on it. Still new soap dish. So, half there. Oh, and here you can really see the view. I'll get out of the way. That view's in here, and love it. All right, so that is this bedroom. I'll let you go first. You can show the. It's kind of like a secret staircase. I love it. So, this is where we moved the stairs to. This used to be the powder room. Dreams of a rope stair railing, but housing code and time frames just did not allow. Basically, so, this whole area where I'm standing will just come all the way up to here. And this is really nice. Kind of far. Wow. <laughs> and this is a <laughs> We knew when we first saw this. Are where the stairs used to be, I guess, right here. And we knew this could be one of the coolest spaces because you kind of stand at the stairs and be like, I love it, I just want to sit here. But all there were stairs. So now we have this really cool area, this massive oversized coffee table. Um, this is also from my collection with Woodbridge Furniture. It's the modern thing, and I think 60 inch, five, yeah, a 60 inch. I was able to find all these really cool books. Like, Locals only, ribbon making waves, the history of surfing, shells, the sea, dog books, all this really cool um, reading material that we're gonna leave here. I think I'm gonna have so much fun reading through like all these really cool like 70s like skater books. And, um, I just love it. So huge game playing table, um, good spot for drinks and hanging out. The girls are styling for me. Mommy's crazy, so I throw her back. Here is the little bar. Um, I love this piece here. It's new, but it has vintage vibes. Again, more of my, my tattered pompous grass here. Um, there used to be like the um, like sauna or tanning bed situation here. If you guys remember that. Um, that's gonna go, but that's some good space where hopefully the stairs will pop up. We were gonna do a closet, but we made an open shelving niche. I thought that'd be fun for people like going on the beach and collecting treasures and putting things around. So we styled it up and hope that the people who buy it just keep adding to it. And then this was a solid door before. So now it's glass slider where you can see our porta potty <laughs> leaving soon. This is the bunk room. It was a bunk room before with two kind of just furniture pieces of bunk bed. Um, but we put in built-in bunks. There's actually six of them. So there's four beds on this wall, two beds on that wall over here. And we added these little portal windows. And there's four of them on this side, which is awesome because I don't think there were, there were no windows here before. So now all these four little people are gonna get ocean views, which is amazing. You should kind of just go look through that. You wanna go in there and see. It's really cool. So portal windows are not code. Um, so we have code regular non-operable windows outside that are square. And then we put the portal window in front of it into the drywall. So 
each kid gets their own little light that they can turn on in here like that for reading and then they all have their own little niches and they have little uh, outlets and charging stations there. So yeah, that's the bunk room. All right, you wanna see the hall bath isn't quite done. Let's just check it out. Pretty utilitarian in here, but just cute little wooden knobs. I love the penny rounds in here on the floor. And, and some art from my collection with One King's Lane. Literally look like exactly what's outside that window. So um, those are pretty neat. And you can check out the tile on here. We don't have the um, shower, the curtain rod up yet, but the shower rod up yet. But I love the tile in here. Kind of a model handmade look. Oh, okay. all right. So this is one of my favorite bedrooms. Come on in. It is pink. in here and, and do the pink. We've got this really cool kind of peachy pink, a little pullover. We have this really cool peachy pink color. Um, and then I love what the sort of earthy mustard kind of does with it. And then we have another one of our fun little uh, word signs, Stay Wild Ocean Child. I love that. And this is not the only pink bedroom in the house, but it's the only peach pink. Oh, and that's also the original, this is also the original paneling. So the old closet was here, which is a no-no because you cannot get a king bed in the room without the nightstand blocking the closet. So we had to shift the closet this way. And then we created this little like, bookshelf niche. I was running out of books, so I have accessories here. We created this little niche here, shifted the closet this way, and did a double closet. So these people had a ton of storage, which was great. Um, and then we also stole some of that closet to create the other bunk for the bunk room. So okay. that's the only way we're able to fit in six beds here. Our little side closet. Hi, Missy. Want to for us? All right, so now I'm gonna take you, I guess, to the end. This is the, what we call the suite. Um, there is a pocket door here. We just got this to work because where these stairs come up, we were basically just able to hit this pocket door before the next bedroom started. This was something that comes through this little door if you want to close it off. It's like a little apartment in here. There's a bathroom in the middle. There is a small bedroom with a little trundle bed on that side. And then there is a king bedroom on that side. And we also created access from the bathroom to the king bedroom. So they sort of had like a suite at night. They didn't actually have to come out to the hallway. So that trundle bedroom, like if people live here full time, it could be an office, whatever. Um, or it could be a closet one day, I don't know. So I'll take you, here, I'll take you to the bathroom. It's still not really fully done yet. Um, we're getting there. This is the floating vanity. And I love these cool shelves. Um, again, we don't have the shower curtain up yet. Love this tile. It's really pretty. It's undulating in color. Uh, it's kind of mottled looking. Um, really good use out here. Just a simple shave. And here's the door to the king bedroom right here. So this is also completely rearranged. This, the vanity actually used to be here. And in this area used to be the closet for the bedroom next door. But I created a closet in this room, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, I'll show you the trundle room. So there's a pocket door into this little bedroom here. We call this the trundle bedroom because um, we kept the original trundle bed that was in the room. Um, and we loved it. One of the only things we kept. used to be a closet here in the bathroom, which we needed for the bathroom. So we gave that to the bathroom and we added this little closet here and created sort of a vestibule when you first walk in. Um, there also used to be doors from both these kids' bedrooms to that front deck, which we didn't like, so those are locked now. This is the girls' pretend bedroom. Um, we say that if they were to live here, this would be their bedroom. This rug is from my collection with Rest USA that's launching in November. I'm so excited, it's machine washable. Uh, it's so soft, amazing. I'm um, really excited to get to use it here. And you can see we did the same to 
situation with just the writing angle of shades in here that kind of vintage and peachy carefree look. Lots of vintage pillows from our shop. I love a good vintage Danish scissor light um, with the really beautiful folded shades. Great skylight in here. Come on in to the last bedroom. This is the king bedroom and the upstairs hall suite and another pink room. whole room was based on this rug here. Um, I love the deep blue and then the pink. This is a cooler pink than we're using in a lot of the other spaces of the house. This is the room that I pictured, this is our house that Dave and I would stay in. I pictured the girls being in there and then just having like a little like shared bathroom and like, but it's not really nice. I think just for this. These curtains are by Amber Lewis for anthropology. Um, and again, they just pull that pink right on in. We've had this for years and don't give up the ship flag. And it would be perfect with the blue and the rug. And again, having more fun with my words to say um, throughout the house. Um, I use these a ton. It's another Martha Washington quilt. Um, I just love the vintage vibe. I cannot remember where the vibe is from, but again, my woven, um, old century vibe. And then we have this cool little this is also from Anthro. Um, just really simple, kind of mid-century inspired white dresser. Little mirror, painting by Lauren Bowen, who works with us at Lauren Lucico. Um, just some cool little accessories. These hands are like all the hands. Yeah, yeah really cool little surprise look. Um, so yeah, so that's it. Do us the view. The every king bedroom walks out to a balcony, which I love. As you need to drive. Let me just show you guys so you can see that how loud this angry ocean is right now. It's just so beautiful. It's incredible. I'll just take you out to the, um, to the little bridge. Um, I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear me outside, so I'm just going to take you out there just to show you the water. Um, the reason we fell in love with this house. So come on out. I probably won't talk too much, but you'll just see it. Thank you for coming on this tour with me.